This organization, Represent Us, gave me a way to take action, gave me a way forward. I urge all of you here to become members. To get involved and urge others to come, become involved with our effort. Now you can, you can continue to complain like I used to, or you can do something to make a real difference in, our, in your lives, in the lives of your children and grandchildren, your community, and our nation. We're here to talk about political corruption. More specifically, legal political corruption. No matter what your political leanings, left or right, liberal or conservative, Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Green, Independent, we all know it exists, but we may not realize just how pervasive it has become or how deeply it affects us all. I want you to think about a cause you care deeply about, any cause, your favorite political pet peeve. You got one? Somebody give me an answer. Shout them out. Climate change, money, what else? Gerrymandering, gun control. gun control. Really good example. War. War, another really good example. Are you wondering why nothing is being done about it? Yes. Or are you wondering why they are doing that about it? The most basic thing you need to know about almost any issue is that the corrosive corrupting influence of political money determines how that issue is dealt with by our government. And all you have to do is follow the money. Every one of those issues has a vast amount of private money arrayed against it through lobbyists, PACs, and super PACs. In fact, right now, according to a recent Princeton University study, quote, the preferences of the average American appear to have only a minuscule, near zero, statistically non-significant impact upon public policy. That if you are a member of the economic elite, that is among the top 10% of income earners or a business interest, and can afford to pay a lobbyist, form a PAC or a super PAC, your ability to influence legislation changes dramatically. Suddenly, you now have the ability to completely block legislation you don't like and have a far greater ability to get laws that you want passed. In fact, you can write that legislation and tailor it to your specific interest. How is that possible? It's possible because our current laws permit it to happen. What in other countries would be considered bribery is perfectly legal in the United States. Corruption is legal in America. Here's the thing though. Citizens United could be overturned by the Supreme Court tomorrow, but the problem of legal co political corruption in America would still exist. What can we do about it? Represent Us, the nation's largest grassroots, nonpartisan, anti-corruption campaign, has a law and a plan. The law is called the American Anti-Corruption Act. What is it? It's model legislation crafted by Trevor Potter, the former Federal Election Commission chairman, who's also a Republican. Just to summarize the act, it stops political bribery by prohibiting the receipt of funds from interests politicians regulate. Right now, they can do that. It requires politicians to recuse themselves from decisions affecting their corporate donors. There's no prohibition on that now. It closes the revolving door of selling influence through job offers and bars retired politicians from lobbying for five years after their retirement. They only have to wait one year and two years in the Senate now. It strengthens bans on kickbacks to elected officials from government contractors and their lobbyists. It reduces the amount lobbyists and their clients can contribute to candidates, political parties, and political committees by 80%. 
it restricts super PAC contributions and coordination with campaigns. It ends secret money by expanding the definition of a lobbyist and mandates full disclosure and transparency by requiring the publication of the names of individual major donors. It prevents legislators from fundraising during working hours, allowing them to do the job which they were, for which they were elected. Do you know that legislators are required to fundraise for their party? They are literally taken out of votes, taken out of committee meetings to go sit in a phone bank and call people and there is they have to do it for hours on end that's got to stop it strengthens the independence and effectiveness of the federal election commission strengthens ethics enforcement and gives prosecutors additional tools to contact or to uh, combat corruption and finally it encourages or ordinary voters to participate in their government by creating a tax rebate they can use to make qualified contributions to candidates, political parties, and political committees of their choosing. The recipients of those funds must abide by a prescribed set of limits and rules. So what's the plan to pass this law? Like I said before, there is a minuscule chance of passing a law through normal channels. Our plan is to go around Congress and build pressure and support from the ground up. Represent Us chapters around the country are working locally across party lines to pass resolutions in support of the American Anti-Corruption Act and ordinances based on the act. Here at NEPA, our chapter has passed three resolutions just in this year alone. We passed one in Wilkes-Barre in January, Luzerne County, and Pittston City, and we're working on working to pass more. This official support by municipal governments helps in our effort to write and pass legislation at the state level here in Pennsylvania. By reforming the state laws, we bring pet pressure on Congress to pass the American Anti-Corruption Act at the national level. To make this happen, we need your support. Join Represent Us, please. Join with over 650,000 other members in the, in the country, in over 50 chapters nationwide. Help us change our state, change our nation. Go sign up. Help us pass the next resolutions in Scranton, Lackawanna County, and uh, there are petitions over there specifically for Scranton and for Lackawanna County. If you're a resident of the county, resident of Scranton, please sign in. Now, let's just hear it. Change our state. Change our nation. Change our state. Change our nation. Change our state. Our Change our nation. Change our nation. All right, thanks. Thank you. All right. Now, I want to introduce Chris Bednar from Fair Districts NEPA to let you know about the problem of gerrymandering and our plan to change that process.